Ε. Θα σα γλυκάνω και εσά του δύο. Πες θα γλυκαθεί και εσύ. Πε μα. Γιατί έχω μία συνέντευξη με μία πολύ όμορφη κυρία του Χόλιγου, την Emma Stone, τη γνωρίζουμε. Emma Stone, Emma Stone. yes, of course. Την είδαμε και πιο πριν στο βίντεο του Λιζάρδου, Διώκτε του Εγκλήματο. Αυτή τη φορά είναι μία συνέντευξη που τη είχε πάρει παλιότερα ο Αλέξανδρο. Ε, για μία άλλη τη ταινία, το άλλο το γράμμα, το οποίο κυκλοφορεί σε Blu-ray και σε DVD. Γενικά είναι από τα ανερχόμενα αστέρια του Hollywood, πολύ όμορφη. Πάρτε μία γεύση από Emma Stone. Well, congratulations for the lovely film. It's actually, in general, I don't like uh, the teen-friendly movies, but it was out of the blue. It was hilarious. It made me really find somewhere myself in these stories, and oh. that was the good part of the film. So how difficult was for you pretending that you were easy, even though you weren't? <laughs> um, well... It was. Uh, well, I just I loved the story and I thought it was kind of I thought it was kind of great. But the you know in terms of lying, I can't really I wouldn't be able to do that in my real life. I don't think. Do you want to go out with me, Brandon? Just a couple hours ago, you told me you were gay. You said I should pretend to be straight. I didn't mean with me. And it's, uh, that sounds a little bit funny because as an actress, you have sometimes to lie. Yeah. So do you think that it was uh, that was the difficult part of the movie? Um. I mean, yeah, I think it's hard for her to keep up a lie that entire time, and obviously it spirals out of control, so that was easy to relate to, because I don't think I would be able to do that either. Yeah. You don't understand how hard it is, all right? I'm tormented every day at school, so please just help me. Just one good imaginary fling. Is that Olive with Brandon? No grunt to make it convincing. Oh! Oh! You seem like you are the next actress that we are going to love in this kind of smart girl comedy uh, oh. feel like. So, how does it feel? Um, well, I know there's a lot of actresses mm -hmm. my age that are, you know, working as well so I don't just it's nice to be part of the part of the group no judgment but you kind of look like a stripper mom a high-end stripper for governors or athletes Olive you're attempting to make a statement I'm just a little confused as to what exactly that is am I in trouble because um pursuant to the student code of conduct my hemline has never been higher than my fingertips I'm sure that it was an understory for your character for why she created yeah. uh, that kind of role model uh, so what's your uh, what was your thoughts on that I think it's interesting to her to all of a sudden be a cause of of such uproar mm -hmm. in school and uh, when she's used to just kind of blending into the crowd and so I think Olive has a pretty good perspective on the world and that high school's going to be over soon mm -hmm. And um, this is all going to be behind her, so why not have some fun, mm -hmm. you know, before she graduates and kind of see what it's like to be the subject of, of scrutiny. Mm -hmm. Olive, do we need to have the talk again? No, it's just a thing that's going around. You know, nothing you're saying is making me feel any better. Oh, my God, I'm just trying to mix it up a little. And I have no STDs, I promise you. Oh, that's great. Daughter of the Year. Did you find any similarities with that character that you played? Yeah, personality-wise, I would say we're pretty similar. But um, not circumstantially, because I was homeschooled, so I never really had <laughs> that high school experience. I always thought pretending to lose my virginity would be a little more special. Judy Bloom should have prepared me for that. And now you're in Toronto, which is yeah. one of the most unique festivals in the universe for me. Yeah. I'm traveling all around the world, and I think that it's the only festival that knows how to combine quality and fun mm -hmm. at the same time. So how do you feel that being around? How was the feeling when you arrived? I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. I've never been to the film festival mm -hmm. before, and I've never really been to a, a festival of this magnitude before. Mm -hmm. So, it's, And I love Toronto. Mm -hmm. I've gotten to spend some time here. So. I'm happy. I'm really happy to be here. There's a higher power that will judge you for your indecency. Tom Cruise. Mm -hmm. I hope for your sake that God has a sense of humor. Oh, I have 17 years worth of anecdotal proof he does. <laughs> you've made your bed. I just hope for your sake that you've cleaned the sheets. Did I just get safe? <laughs> I had a 
similar situation when I was your age. I had a horrible reputation. Why? Because I slept with a whole bunch of people, mostly guys. Mom! We're a family of late bloomers. I didn't until I was 14, nor did Olive. Why does that matter? I'm adopted. What? Oh, my God! Who told you?